welcome to class today we are going to talk about the british sociologist and a person of sociology of education who had impact and a lot of discussion initiated a lot of discussion uh, because of his work on codes class control and codes i'm talking about basil bernstein he is one of the founding fathers of modern social linguistics and in that series of founding fathers of social linguistics founding pillars of social linguistics as an independent discipline uh, we are going to quickly do a brief survey of basil bernstein's contribution to the field and to what extent he generated a lot of debates and also associated criticism with his work so we'll talk about the british sociologist and linguist basil bernstein today basil bernard bernstein was born on 1st november 1924 and he died on 24th september 2000 he was a british social linguist and sociologist known for his work in the society uh, class control and codes so he is known for his uh, work on sociology of education he worked on the connection between the manner of speaking and social organization bernstein was born on 1st november 1924 into a jewish immigrant family in the east end of london in 1960 bernstein began his graduate work he enrolled at the university of london where he completed his phd in linguistics he joined the institute of education at the university of london and worked there for the rest of his career he became karl mannheim chair of sociology of education at the institute of education in university of london in 1983 bernstein was awarded the honorary degree doctor of the university by the open university milton keynes england his major contribution is the theory of class and language codes as an educationist he was very keen observer of the fact that the children from lower class socio economic class uh, fared poor poor as compared to children from middle class socio economic class they did fairly well and almost equal scores in other subjects like mathematics and other subjects but as far as language was concerned and the subjects based on language competencies the students or the children from lower class lower socio economic strata performed very bad compared to the children from middle socio economic class and this triggered a theory this triggered a hypothesis that he put forward in 1960s the construct that he gave was of restricted code and elaborate code pertaining to uh, the different class of the speakers so bernstein made a significant contribution to the study of communication with his social linguistic theory of language codes which was developed to explain inequalities based on social class or uh, uh, found in language use so 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 the two different codes for two, two different classes and he tried to account for the poor performance of the students from uh, you know lower socio economic class and he gave up constructs like restricted code and elaborate code 
this this construct drew a lot of attention among the scholars in Britain, and a very brief, uh, you know, uh, attention of American social linguists as well. And uh, this these two constructs, elaborate code and restricted code, vis-a-vis -vis class, became theme of a lot of other works that followed though not all all the works related to this theme up, up you know uphold uh, upheld the uh, you know hypothesis of bernstein uh, some of them severely criticized him for a lot of other reasons but there is no doubt that these two constructs elaborate code and restricted code drew a lot of attention from scholars. So what is the theory? So the theory holds that there are elaborate and restricted codes within the broader category of language codes. And uh, in his theory, Bernstein asserts a direct relationship between societal class and language use. So as you can understand, 60s were the time, the decade when other people in other parts of the world or were also concerned about correlation between uh, social structures, social class and linguistic structures. And as an educationist and a person of social, say sociology of education, Bernstein also tried to find a valid explanation for the poor performance of young children from lower socioeconomic strata and little better performance by children from middle socioeconomic strata. So he also tried to correlate the performance of these students in language based courses, their use of language vis-a-vis -vis the class they belong to. And the assumption was that the home domain is primarily responsible for their performance in the school. So students from middle socioeconomic strata have better exposure and experience with linguistic structures, its richness and variety as compared to the children from lower socioeconomic strata where they do not have that degree of exposure, experience and use at home. So this led to constructing the ideas like phenomenon like restricted code and the elaborate code. Moving on, uh, the construct that Bernstein put forward refer to two varieties of language use seen as part of general theory of nature of social system and social rules. So the elaborate code was said to be used in relatively formal educated situations permitting people to be reasonably creative in their expressions and to use a range of linguistic alternatives. So this, this code contains deg high degree of formality, richness of expression, variety of linguistic categories and uh, sufficient in itself to explain the meaning it intends to. It was thought to be characterized by a fairly high proportion of such features as subordinate clauses, adjectives, pronouns and passives. So if you see uh, this elaborate code is sufficient in itself and does not presume any background knowledge of the content it shares. So the speakers have a wide range of linguistic structures at their disposal. Uh, we can find a variety of expressions and uh, 
it is relatively used in educated and aware domain of society people where where people are educated aware and very expressive so elaborate code is expressive in nature whereas by contrast the restricted codes are thought to be used in relatively informal situations stressing the speaker's membership of a group relying on context for its interpretation of meaning and it lacks a style and range of linguistic expressions wide range of linguistic expressions so within the same language community linguistic community speech community we find two varieties of codes within the same language one which is rich in expressions which has wide range of linguistic structures which is used in educational domains and self sufficient to explain the intended meaning whereas in contrast to elaborate code restricted code offers limited linguistic variations varieties in fact uh, you know variety of expressions then limited use of linguistic categories simple sentences for example unlike elaborate code where you have complex sentences subordinate clauses right restricted code has limitations and restrictions in the sense that in order to derive meaning out of it you need to be uh, very closely connected in the group so it's an intra group membership and you have to within that group you have to rely on the context so shared context and shared understanding will allow you to derive meaning out of the variety used in restricted code that's why it's called restricted code because it restricts the membership right it assumes shared understanding of the context right uh linguistically it is highly predictable with a fairly high proportion of pronouns tag questions and the use of gestures and intonation to convey meaning so unlike elaborate code which is sufficient in itself because it is very elaborate with a wide range of linguistic expressions variety of linguistic categories and structures restricted code relies on the shared understanding of the context right and uh, you know it requires a uh, understanding of the context and shared meaning among the smaller group of people who use it the attempt to correlate these codes with certain types of social class background and their role in educational setting such as whether children who are used to restricted code would succeed in schools where elaborate code is the norm brought the theory considerable publicity and controversy as well because because bernstein tried to correlate this this lower performance low performance of such students who belonged to lower strata socio economic strata of the society and he tried to attribute it to the restricted code the richness of language available at home and around the student around the children who use restricted code it re- basically refers to the deficit linguistic deficit right that they had in their environment and when they come to school where the restri- elaborate code is a norm high degree of formality richness of expressions a variety of linguistic structures and categories used elaborate range of vocabulary used then they find it little intimidating and hostile and their performance is restricted because of their experience of restricted code around them in their in their environment at home 
So this correlation between the performance of a students and their social background, between the students of lower socioeconomic strata and students of middle socioeconomic strata and their relative performances and categorizing this correlation in terms of linguistic structures and social structures. Bernstein invited a lot of attention, curiosity, debate and of course criticism. Now, in differentiating between restricted and elaborated codes, it is noted that elaborated code can stand on its own. It is complete and full of details. Most uh, overhearing a conversation would be able to understand it, right. However, restricted code is shorter, condensed and requires background information and prior knowledge of the context. So basically he is referring to deficit, linguistic deficit among the children from lower social strata, strata which is primarily responsible for their poor performance in language based courses. Though they perform fairly well at par with middle uh, students from middle socioeconomic strata in mathematics and other subjects. And this clearly indicates something to do with their social background. So their language use, their code and their background are correlated. Their performance can be attributed to their background. A person overhearing a conversation full of restricted code would be quite lost and it would be easily identifiable as an insider's conversation, right. If you quote Bernstein in 1971, what he says, I quote from him, clearly one code is not better than another. Each possesses its own aesthetics, its own possibilities. Society, however, may place different values on the orders of experience elicited, maintained and progressively strengthened through the different coding systems. So he is referring to the two patterns of coding in two different classes. So code and class, he correlates code and class. So the way it is coded, encoded in one class, it is different in another class. And this class hierarchy or a stratification can be projected onto their language use patterns and performances in school. So Bernstein's contribution in social linguistic, linguistics uh, relates to sociology of education and language use where he comes up with a correlation between code and social class. And he says that the class which has a rich, elaborate and expressive code within the same language, right, has a different pattern of language used and that coding is primarily responsible for the performance of the children from this class in their language based class, you know, courses. So he names these kinds of codes based on two different classes, elaborate code which is rich in vocabulary, in linguistic categories, which is rich in expressions. It, ha it, ha it has wide range of varieties of linguistic items and self-sufficient to make sense of it. However, the language or the code used by socio uh, lower socioeconomic strata of the society 
is restricted in nature, limited range of vocabulary, limited range of varieties of linguistic items, right? Uh, a lot of presumptions required, shared understanding of the context required, tag questions, right? And uh, you know, very restricted in nature and not opened for the outsiders to interpret the meaning without having shared understanding. So, it restricts the language use. When these students from this class, lower social strata, reach the school, they have bearing upon their perform, you know, performance in language based courses. So, Bernstein was basically an educationist uh, and he worked on sociology of education and he worked on this language aspect to demonstrate the possible reason, the attributes of poor performances of the working class students who belong to lower socioeconomic strata of the society and compare the performance of these children with that of the children from the middle socioeconomic strata, middle class who performed fairly well and better than their counterparts from lower socioeconomic strata, the working class. And this distinction and correlation between code and class earned him a reputation of a social linguistic, ling linguist and uh, an educationist. His work derived a lot of appreciation, a lot of attention, at the same time huge criticism by the fellow linguists both in Britain and in America. So, if you look at the criticism, the basis of criticism, uh, people accused him of in being inconsistent in his explanation of this correlation of the code and class. Uh, they found it unreliable, right, uh, and also unintelligible. People found this distinction of class and language use and correlation between class and code arbitrary and uh, it was seen as problems in making linguistic sense of the key properties of explicitness versus implicitness, restricted versus elaborate because the, the features were all misleading, it was believed, it was, so he was criticized for being no, uh, non, uh, no, in unintelligible, unreliable and inconsistent in his explanation of this correlation. Uh, the criteria, he was also criticized for the criteria for identifying different contexts or different contextualized variants of the same code and the alleged correlation between codes and the social position. And the, and the people who led the criticism were uh, Kalthar, Jackson, Rosen, Trudgill, Ditma, Edward, Stubbs. They criticized his work. Jackson, 1974, argued that there is no evidence whatever that the code exists. He questions the, even the existence of the code. Trudgill noted that Bernstein's earlier theories to be very suspect with many linguists and acceptable about the later variants. In addition, accusations of middle class bias and prejudice were made, you know, and Bernstein's Durkheimian, the Durkheimian sociological orientation came under fire from the left, uh, you know, scholars as well. So, overall, when you see the contribution of Basil Bernstein, 
Uh, you can recall the similar kind of work in, in uh, happening in America with the, with the people like Lebov, who was also trying to correlate the language structures with the social structure. Recall his Marthaus Villiard Island study or social stratification of English in New York City study. So, Bern, uh, no, Bernstein's work in Britain in education, uh, uh, linguistics, drew a lot of considerable criticism, but at the same time, we cannot write it off his contribution to social, shaping the field of social linguistics because for a decade his theory of code and class dominated research and for a brief account it had influence in American linguistic tradition as well. So, Bernstein is considered one of the founding fathers of social linguistics who gave a very significant theory of uh, social class and code, he tried to establish a correlation between the, the code and the class in terms of understanding the performance of children from lower socioeconomic strata and working class in the school and he tried to establish, he tried to establish that there is a correlation. Because if you look at the performance of children from middle class, middle socioeconomic strata in language based courses and the performance of students from lower socioeconomic strata, working class in language based courses, the gap is very, very high. But in non language based courses, they all perform equal. So, there, there is something to do with their patterns of language use, their performance and their social background. And this is what Bernstein established, code, class and control. So, this is his contribution to modern social linguistics. Though he was criticized for being uh, inconsistent, unreliable, unintelligible and uh, he was also accused of middle class bias. And uh, the, the thing is that uh, it unnecessary, it was seen as an unnecessary intervention of uh, you know, drawing a line between two classes and you know, attributing the poor performance of students to their social background. It was seen as an un irresponsible you know, uh, approach towards looking at this problem. So, despite these criticisms, Bernstein's contribution to the discipline remains important, significant and it opens uh, you know, a new chapter of debate on the correlation between social class, social structure and linguistic structure. We will continue discussing, uh, you know, other country, other scholars and their contributions like Susan Irwin Trump, uh, Tripp, uh, and uh, you know John J. Gumpers, Charles Ferguson, Joshua Fishman, uh, Ellen Grimshaw, Uriel Wenrich, in our coming lectures. So this is for now. Thank you very much.